There are a great many stories out there in the world. Some are good, some are great, and a precious few are truly special. This is a story of heroes and villains, of trap princesses, evil giants and unicorns, and the brave souls who rise to defend and rescue the innocent. This is one of those exact stories. Minus the unicorns, unless you're really baked, then there will be unicorns. Ta-da! Your mum will be here soon, Jack. Thanks, Bix. It's all right. Won't be the first time she's missed it. Light it? You gonna make a wish? Every year, Jack makes the same hopeful wish to one day finally meet his father. Happy birthday, Jackie. Your queen has arrived. What? It's died. It's your son's birthday. No, 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 I haven't forgotten. I, um... Now, let's have a drink. <sighs> I'm 21 now, Mum. It's time. For what? Oh, come on, Rox. He wants to know who his dad is. I don't know, all right? It's the 90s. It could have been anyone with or without. Fucking pulse. Mum. I deserve to know. You said you'd tell me when I was 21. Why should you care anyway? He doesn't give a shit about us. You do know who he is! Jackie! Will you stop trying to climb back up my fanny, all right? Grow up. You're 19. 21. Right. <sighs> Come on, fucking slut puppets. Let's fuck this shit up. Let's get the party started. How do you get through this door? Wait, where is it? Come on! He's like, you know. What? <laughs> Mum gave me this when I was five. She was teaching me how to light her bomb. Yeah, and um, he gave it to her. You know who my father is? Y yeah, but Jack, you know, I... Pigs, please tell me. I mean, I'm not going to talk to her about it. But what are you going to do if I do tell you? I'll find him, <laughs> wherever he is. I. I've been on tour with the Slut Puppets my entire life. I deserve to know what else is out there. I mean, he could be a doctor or a lawyer or a politician. Yeah, right, no such luck. He owns a weed shop. What? In Amsterdam. It's called California Dreaming. Amsterdam? Is he still there? <sighs> Who knows? I mean, it was over 20 years ago. But you're right, Jack. You deserve to know. Keep it. His name's Michael Kelly. That's my dad. Happy birthday, Jack. Oh. Oh, right, come on. I better go. Oh, and, um, if by some strange chance you're not here by the time we get off stage, be careful, yeah? Amsterdam is one hell of a city. He'd spent his entire life dreaming about someday meeting his father, and now he held that possibility in the palm of his hand. This is a very special story about a boy named Jack.
Hello, handsome boy. What are you looking for? Hello. Um, I'm looking for uh, this place. Uh, I believe it's a coffee shop. Why don't you come inside and we can find whatever you're looking for? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm all right, thanks. You don't want to play with Miss Misha? Um, uh, uh, well, uh, no, thank you. Uh, well, Piss <laughs> off! You're ruining business! <laughs> Even if he understood Dutch, Jack wouldn't have heard a word she was saying. It was love at first sight. Okay, copy, copy. Stom idiot. Sorry, what? <sighs> Not a tourist. Stay out of the bicycle lane, okay? Hey. Good morning, Desiree. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Finally allowed a boyfriend? No, just another tourist on pussy patrol. Ah, I'm not. Okay. Well, um, I think she likes you. Don't waste your precious pennies upon the window dwellers. The hidden extras are free. Well, I must dash. The cobbles won't litter themselves. <laughs> Welcome to the giant. You're here to smoke the best. We have the weed. And seeds in hand. That stands above the rest. Perhaps ye old skunk number one. What a wretch you taste upon thou tongue. Something from the indica section. Or puff upon a sativa erection. Anything you wish is here to help your mind expand. The jolly green giant has the best weed in the land. <laughs> right then, what'll it be, my lord? Well, um... Well, um, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for uh, Michael Kelly, and I think he owns the coffee shop across the road. <laughs> Shut your mouth, boy. No, no. Say that name one more time, and... I'll buy your dick off! Clarence, Pippa, it's a bit early for theatrics, don't you think? Sorry about them. No, I should be... Wait. ...apologizing to you. You were saying? I, I, I was my lord. Apologize for earlier everything that happened um, with with that lady and, and 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 on your bicycle and that stuff. Oh wait, you're the fucking tourist. Thanks for all the help. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm really sorry. What it is, I'm I'm looking for somebody, and and when your mate turned up on the you know the rear rear and he, he put his goggles on and, and, I, and he, I could see, so I I needed to chase him, but I've lost him, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the guy I'm looking for. 
You've been smoking a little too much today, huh? Uh, no, not, I wish. I, I mean, I've been really busy. Shh. This is not the joint you're looking for. Sorry. Uh... I'm Desiree. I'm Jack. Welcome to Amsterdam. Thanks. <coughs> Slow down. It's not a race. Thanks. So, uh, what's with the lighter? Uh, it's my dad's. Um, I think he owns that coffee shop over the road. Whoa. Mick Carley's your father? I didn't know he had a son. Not sure he knows either. Hey, 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 hey. Your king has returned victorious. Yes, fucking done it again. Once again, the Amsterdam Cup will be held here at the infamous Jolly Green Giants. And once again, the top prize will be mine. Who is this, then? I'm, uh, Jack. It's nice to meet you, Mr... Okay, it's nice to meet you, sir. Lovely. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? It's just like a new pipe. Uncle, he doesn't know anybody. Dish. He's mixed son. Stay quiet! <laughs> Son, huh? That's funny. Why didn't I realize this? Because he actually looks a lot like Mick's son. Really? Yeah. You know, sad. Pathetic. Like a loser. You're smoking on the wrong side of the street boy. <clears throat> okay, uh, it's uh, nice to meet you, Desiree. Didn't have to be so mean. He's Mick's son. You ought to get used to knowing his place in the world. Ah, you saucy smokers. Free week for these beauties. Come and see me later for a smoke. And a poke. I thought my mum was bad, yeah. I think it's really nice you want to find your dad. Go see the show. You'll find him there. My dad hangs out at a sex show. <laughs> Grow up, little boy. This is Amsterdam. See you around. You truly blew us away. <laughs> no? I sincerely hoped you used the gas tray. No? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Time for the main event. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the red light, D light, Miss Hidden. Extra Heidi! Oh, yeah. oh, what, what's wrong, Heidi? What's that? You require a volunteer? Okay, let's find one. <laughs> and we have one. A natural selection. Thank you, dear boy. No, no, I was, I was just leaving. I'm... Oh, no. Come on! Don't take it away, Taylor. Come on. 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 
just, I'm just looking for my dad. Looking for your dad? Well, there's plenty of fathers in here tonight. <laughs> Hi, you, my sweetling. He's all yours. <laughs> Jack couldn't help but smile a little. Oh. It's not quite who he'd expected, but he'd finally found his father. You're Mick Kelly, aren't you? Shut up, kid. We're almost finished. My name's Jack. I think you're my dad. Mick? Wait. Wait. Wait, please. Leave me alone. Just... Listen to me, sorry. Listen to me for a second. Come on. Stop following Look, me, man. You just gave me a chance to explain. Just go away. What the fucking bikes in this place? Nick, wait! Please, wait, just... Dad, wait. Don't call me that, man. I've never seen you before in my life. And what's this? My mum gave this to me, and you gave it to her. Her name's Roxy. She's in a band called The Slut Puppets. Yeah. You knew her a long time ago. I got no idea what you're talking about, man. My dedicated herbal connoisseur. sir. Now, I'm afraid that I must be the bearer of bad news. Our fair establishment, right there, is closed for the evening. Now, might I suggest, um... Hey! You're the guy from the show. Yeah. Hello. I'm Jack. Well, pleased to meet you, Jack. My name is Loz. Oh, 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 oh. oh hello. Oh, MJ. Just met him. Sorry about MJ. I think she likes you. Hey? What do you like? What do you like? What do you like? <laughs> it's probably because she knows I'm Mick's son. Michael! Son! But... Michael! Jack! Son! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Well, I didn't realize Michael had a son. We must celebrate with a feast. What's, what's that, Mary Jane? Mary Jane, what a wonderful idea. You're so clever. Let me get the ingredients. Okay, for a shroomy snack. Uh, no. Uh. You want some? Yeah. Oh, be careful. Save some for Daddy, my sweet. Mm. You're really good. Laws was insanely jealous of the poor animals in testing laboratories, merely because they're experimenting with more drugs than he is. Experimenting? But it seemed he was giving those poor furry bastards a run for their money. <laughs> Stop snickering! Who are you talking to? Nobody. Who are you talking to? You. Yes? So, um, hmm. So how can we help you, Mr... Why do you want to help me? Uh, cos we're friends. <laughs> Aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I've got to get out of here. Sure. Um, care for a bit of company? Hello. No, thanks. No. OK. Fine. Well, it's just me and you, MJ. Me, you and, uh, that small bisexual elephant.
Oh, my God. What happened? This guy robbed me and he took my bag and all my things. It's OK. <laughs> I'll help you. Thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a tourist? Uh, no, I live here. <laughs> Comedian, huh? Then what's with the bag? Uh, it's just some things. Yeah. You keep right. this to our story, so we make a smile in your neck. All right, okay. okay. <laughs> Take it. Right. Okay. Now let's see what's in his wallet. Away from her. <laughs> what are you going to do, old man? What am I going to do? Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> You're lucky I don't need a shite. <laughs> oh, my house. Oh, my house. You saved me. And you crushed my house, Jack. I owe you for helping me, and I... Wait, did you just call oh, me Jack? You have proper fucked her up. I'm sure you'll find another one. Are you blind? I'm blind. Oh, sorry. I will. Apologies only going to stop the rats from biting me in the arse, are they, Jack, eh? Yeah? Hmm? Yeah. You just called me Jack. How do you know my name? As your name, Jack. You said it again. Yeah, I did. Didn't I? <laughs> no, I mean, you, you said it before that. Shh, shh. <sighs> Look. I can't see. No, I mean, listen. I, I haven't got any cash. I want to give you something. Oh, yeah. That looks expensive, eh? <laughs> Not all who are blind cannot see. Oh. Take it. It's nothing to me anymore. Sure. Yeah. It's worth more to you than it is to me. <sighs> I'm sorry about your house. Wait! You're a good boy, Jack. I'm a good boy. <sighs> What's that? That is a seat. But it's not like any other seat in the world. Take care of it on your journey. What kind of seat? Here you go. You are wondering where you are, how you got here, and who I am. Well, uh, yeah. Where am I? Four degrees north. Oh, there's another one. Two degrees east. Permission to land. Permission granted. Bring her in. Zero degrees south. Touchdown. Morning, Jack. 
How do you guys know my name? Are you psychic? Nah, Loz told us. Wait a minute. You guys know Loz? I am Spencer. I am his elder sibling. This, this is our humble abode. We failed again, Captain. What was that? Another ghastly attempt. Well, what are you trying to make? Going to make the ultimate high. We do not know who wrote this, but it is clear he was a master of the horticultural arts. Only trouble is... We're missing the last page. But that shall not deter us from our quest. <laughs> oh, no. Bonjour, mes amis. Good, Loz is here. Bon appétit. Good oh. morning, Jack. Right. Mm. Mon frère. Loz, what happened last night? How did I get here? Oh, well, I wasn't really too sure whether to leave you sleeping where I found you because you look so cute and peaceful in the gutter. Meow, 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 That bag. I know, right? Like, wow. 10 euros from this rather lovely couple. Mm. Ooh, I'd like 10 euros. Oh, well, here's a bag. No, that's my bag. Oh, I think you're mistaken, sir. Oh, are you trying to tickle me? <laughs> Stop it! I was robbed last night. This is my bag. I... They've taken all my stuff. Oh, merde! But, in my defense, it was empty when I bought it. You're wearing all my clothes. OK, fine. It wasn't empty. I did find these inside, too. But rather fetching, don't you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's some futuristic <laughs> shit right there. Yeah. Yeah. Dum, dim, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dim, dum. Bum, bum, dum, dum, bum, bum, dum. I like to smoke in my mouth. That is where the smoke goes inside. Pete, where does the smoke go? It goes down my throat, then to my lung. Boom, boom, boom. Then it goes up to my brain. Ah! Ah! I'm really high. And then it goes to the dum. This is my friend. I like him very much. This is my friend. He teaches me so much. Ooh, this is my friend. What? I'll pass it to you, but you have to earn it by singing to us. I was robbed last night and they took everything. I mean, my passport was in that bag. Wow. That was awkward. Yep. Hey, come on, dear Jacques. Hey, here you go. Meow, meow, meow. Chin up and smiley smile. There's a whole world of positivity out there. <sighs> Be a friend, yeah? I must get all of these on the cobbles today. Amsterdam Cup. Oh, oh, oh Jack. It's no makeup. It's the World Cup of Weed. Coffee shop owners do battle over several intense rounds to be the greatest herbalist in the world. Your father, he used to be the champion before his so-called friend Eddie unveiled this corporate monstrosity across the street. Come on, what do you Anyway, mesdames et messieurs, attachez vos ceintures et préparez-vous pour le décollage. Sorry, I'm sorry. You know, some people might call this fate. Or a clumsy idiot who needs to look where he's going. Look who I found. Hi. Oh, Michael! 
How's things going with your dad? It's a mess. Don't worry. There's always someone worse off than you. Mick, I, I know you don't believe me. Uh, I, I know this is uh, hard to take in. Uh, but you did know my mum a long time ago. And, and, and my, aunt, my aunt Pixie told me that you are my father. Mick. I know. Mother wrote to me when she found out she was pregnant. I tried to contact her, man. She was, she was always on tour, always moving place to place. I spent six months trying to get a letter to her. But you can tell she's not getting any money off me, man. That's why she sent you, right? No. She... Well, good, because I don't have any to give, man. I'll be closing the shop within a month. Yeah, Loz mentioned things were bad. MJ! MJ, I found some treasure. Look. Help me, Andrew. Look, you came to see the show, OK? You saw how shit it is. All right, now just run along. And get as far away from me as possible, man. No, I, I thought maybe I could stay and help you. Help? I can't even look after this place, let alone babysit you. I'm a fast learner. I mean, there must be something I can do. What? What do you possibly think you could do to help me, man? Actually, there is one thing. Anything, name it. Lighter. It's solid gold, man. Platinum inlay, the sparkly bit in the lettering is a sapphire, dude. I had it made when I opened the shop. It's worth a mint. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it here. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, um, I don't currently have it anymore. What do you mean? I was robbed last night. They took it off you. No, well, um, um, this blind homeless guy came up out of the trash and he pissed on the robbers and he saved me. But I destroyed his house, so I had to give him something. So I gave him the lighter. You gave my lighter to a bum. I, um, I gave my bum a light once. <laughs> Didn't end well. You two have totally lost the plot, man. No, look, look, look. He gave me his seed. Mick, dude, just look at it. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, I, I, I didn't realise I could get it back. You've done enough, sunshine. I want you gone pronto. I don't have anywhere to go. Go back to your mother. I don't have a mother to go back to. What? I'm sorry, it's just, you know, Roxy. She's dead? What? Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't know. Jack felt terrible about lying, but for the first time, he was being held by his father, and he couldn't bring himself to give that up just yet. You stay with me for a little while, yeah? That'd be awesome. Lying about what? Is he all right? Yeah. He's okay. <laughs> Don't wait up. <laughs> oh, you can laugh. But this right here 
is what keeps the crowd gagging for more. Hundred euro bills, y'all. Later, dudes. His balls touched me. His balls touch everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That seed, my beautiful boy. We, we flushed that down the toilet. I know. And it grew into a monster, man. <laughs> ah! Hi. Yeah, a little help for a friend. I'm stuck. Be careful. Don't disturb the root. Jack? Shit. That's Desiree. What's she doing here? Jack! I'm stuck, Desiree! Shh! She can't see it. Not me, dude. Get rid of her. How? I don't know. Say anything. If you really want to help me save the shop, Eddie can't find out about this, man. Oh, Hi. hey. Is everything... It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, let's go somewhere. Where? Uh, anywhere. Just uh, away from the stores. <laughs> Are you sure you're yeah. okay? Eddie's no longer my legal guardian. I'm buying a ticket to somewhere on this map, and I'm off. That's great. <laughs> You're listening to one of Mum's records. You've been gone a while. Yeah. She took me to the erotic museum. I asked you to get her away from the store and not go on a date, man. We had a really cool...
cool time. Stay away from that girl. She's nothing but trouble. No, she's not. She's really nice. Boss! What? She took you on a date to an erotic museum, man. Lost. Sorry. That's a date. Listen, anybody related to Eddie is no friend of ours. Do you understand? Laws, stop that. Please, Michael, just let us smoke a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. An itty bitty, tokey wokey. No, we cannot smoke this or sell it, for that matter, until we're sure what the hell it is. Hey. Sorry. Lowe's. Yes? What about your brother and that astronaut? But of course! Pete and Spence must see this! <laughs> to our noble steed we ride! Yes. Laws, clip the bud. Let's do this. never seen anything like it. Is it safe? Should be. Though you will be in for the ride of your life. And ride we shall. Where did you get this? I was about to ask you the same question. We found it in the trash months ago. Bestowed upon us by destiny, Pete. We have been trying to complete the procedure, but we are missing the last page. Whoever wrote it is a genius. Yes. He was. You know who wrote that? Of course. He used to work for me. Years ago. When Eddie and I were running California Dreaming together, we had a scientist. Gordon. The great. The best horticulturalist that Amsterdam had ever seen. He created all of our strains. But Gordon is after the ultimate high. The isolator. The isolator? He worked through the night for months, trying to perfect the technique. Eddie grew impatient. He wanted the strain for the Amsterdam Cup. He snuck into the lab one night turn the grow lamps up past their top capacity. Then what happened? It exploded. When we returned in the morning, our lab was destroyed and our beloved scientist, nowhere to be found. His notes were lost too. Until today. So. That's when you and Eddie split up. He didn't care that somebody died, man. He just wanted to win the cup. I said, no. No. Greed drove a wedge between us. And he opened the jolly green giant across the road. And ever since, he's been trying to put me in the poorhouse. But now that you have this, what are you calling it? Oh. That's a good question. The green stalk. Yes, Loz. That's great. What is? If this green stalk is as good as you say it is, we could save the shop, which would be awesome. <laughs> Only one way to find out.
In all my years of mind expansion, I never believed I would experience such beauty. This is our savior. I'm gonna let it cry on you, on you. Ride him high, ride him low, ride him high. Ain't gonna leave for Mexico. I want the dead blues boy, dead blues boy. I'm you. Gonna ride him high, gonna let him fly, gonna slip my mind, gonna let it cry. <laughs> The green stock was indeed the savior for California dreaming, but their success was Eddie's demise. The jolly green giant hadn't seen a customer for weeks and the Amsterdam Cup was merely days away. this. It's time I made a trip across the cobbles. Clarence, Pippa. <sighs> Ready my transport. <laughs> side of the street, aren't you? Mind your cheek, boy. Stay away from my princess. Feel so much as to lick her rolling papers. Hey, haven't you got trophies to polish? Well, if it isn't hidden extra Heidi herself, will you come to protect your little boy? That's so sweet. I can smell the sweat of your tiny balls, Mickey. It is a shame that they are not big enough to compete with a champion. Well, at least my dad's balls work. My balls work. They like to sweat. And they like to grind. <laughs> Unlike you, you pathetic loser, too afraid for competition. Oh, I don't have time for the cup and all that. I'm too busy swinging from branch to branch of my tree, 
serving the millions of customers that come in here every day. Uh, another piece of your plastic shit, huh? To go with your fake palm trees. Oh, it's real. Just ask them. That is real? Yeah. Uh, that, is, that is impossible. Laws. Greenstock. On the house. Some stupid homegrown bullshit. That strain it isn't even that strong. Ever. Wipe his ass and call that a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, he's gonna be back now that he sees what we've got. So you stay away from his kooky niece. We don't want any more shit hitting the fan. That fat cross-dressing fuck is going to ruin me. Nay, I say. You can't, you shan't. That's shut up. <sighs> Plant was the best I have ever tasted. It's already taken all my customers. If he gets it into the Amsterdam cop, he'll take my trophy and my title, and we will be closed within a year, and I will be the one flashing my cock and balls for a living. Unless. 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 We do something about it. The severing dwarfs. Severing dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, nothing. You know, just... Relaxing. Where are you going? Just going to buy some supplies. We're running low on papers. You seem to be going out a lot lately. Just trying to keep us afloat now that Mick's stealing all your customers. Off you go, then. Something is not right, follow her. See what you can find out. I will worry about Heidi. Yeah, man! Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you want to meet here? It's... For this. This is Lover's Bridge, where people from all over the world come to declare their love for each other. They put the padlock onto the chain, and each keeps a key forever. The padlock can never be opened, and their love never broken. It's really romantic. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> were you gonna? No, no, I, I was. Oh, that's so sweet. You were. Okay. Close your eyes. Hide your lips. Best kiss in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> The supplies we needed? A uh, supply shop was closed. It was closed? Well, why was that? Plumbing problem. 
plumbing problems. And it wasn't because you were off with Mick Kelly's mongrel. What? No, we don't associate with the likes of him. Come now, princess. No need to keep secrets. Hmm? No secret jars of money. You went to my room? What is this then? Hmm? All the places I want to go to when I am 21. <laughs> That is going to be hard to do without any money. And that... That makes me sad. I almost want to cry. And it's my money. Yes, it is. And it can stay yours. If you do exactly as I ask. What's that? I want you to convince Mick to meet with me. You know, like a truce to end our feud and rekindle our friendship. And that's it. That is it. Well, you know what they say. You can't beat them, you join them. A colleague and I have been doing some research. The greed stalk would be the greatest weed to utilize in creating the ultimate high. Ultimate high. The isolator would be a cup winner for sure. Isolator? I if only we had that missing page. What's she doing here? Michael, we shall return after some further research. Monfleur, MJ? Actually, I was hoping to talk to you. My uncle wants to give you this. He says he's really sorry. He wants to put your differences to rest. You can tell your uncle that he can shove whatever's in that box up his tiny ass. One. Rick, if you just look at what she's brought over, it would mean a lot to me. Of all the girls in Amsterdam, do you have to pick her? Yeah. Well, it's not gonna work, though, kid. He couldn't even show up face to face and apologize in person. Instead, he sent his little messenger. I was only trying to help. What the fuck was that? You don't know that family, man. I can't trust him as far as I can throw him. Well, she's not Eddie. He probably wants a share of my profits. Now he sees how successful I am. Look, Jack, for the first time in three years, I'm almost above water. A few more days of business and I can pay off my debt. My luck changed when you showed up. Don't let some girl get in the way of what we've got now. I'll be damned. It's one of my trophies. We want. It seems the Lady Desiree requests your presence across the way. A special night she has in store. Surprises, romance, maybe more. Oh. What? Desiree has a surprise for you across the street. Get going, Mark, get some gas tonight, boy. Go! I'll bang the money. Really? Yeah, yeah, of course. I've got MJ with me. Oh, no. Yes. We'll be fine. You're a good friend. We 
are you doing? something. I piss off, will you? I'm trying to say that I'm sorry. No, it didn't end on the best of terms. But the truth is, when you blamed me for that accident, that hurt. You're my best friend. This? this is my birthday party. Desiree, I, I'm really sorry. Okay, I no, should've... you didn't need to do anything. Just be here. Celebrate with me. Today, I am 21. You're free. <laughs> okay, um... <clears throat> What do you want? The plant. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're taking the plant. Aina, <laughs> <laughs> you and what army? <laughs> Severing dwarves! <laughs> and then, in the morning, it had grown right out of the building. No way. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, what luck. Oh, no. <laughs> and it couldn't happen to a better guy. I know. And I... at a better time. I'll say, I, you know, I was going to be kicked out on the street any day, man. Now, I can finally hang up my heels for good. <laughs> Cheers. Come there, Jake. Come on, come on, come on. Bring, bring me. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta take this. That's me. That's me, man. That's me. <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> Laws. Mick! Mick! They're destroying the plant! They're taking all the money! There's too many of them, Mick! There's too many of them! You. Yes, Michael. How could you do this to me again? Oh, come now. No need to be a sore loser. You lied to me. That I did. And luckily, your son is a bigger fool as you are. And Desiree is as cunning as I am. What? Desiree? Oh, yeah. We made a little agreement, you see. She would help me destroy that beautiful plant of yours. And I would set her free. I couldn't have you stealing any more of my customers, Mickey. Or God forbid, beat me in a cup. <laughs> this is too much. <clears throat> we'll take what we can. And the rest? made some money now. Travel together, see the world, be free. Oh, I can't. Oh, I, I mean, I just met my dad. And, and I, I feel like he needs me. Oh, 
I'll... I'll never forget you. <laughs> Ditto. And, you know, after I've seen the world, I'll know where to find you. You witch! Dad, you... You lying scum of a bastard whore. Whoa! Right, calm down, you drunk. She tricked you, Jack. They just try to get us out of the shop so they could destroy the plant, man. What? What, what do you mean, destroy the plant? Oh, she know, you know. Didn't Eddie tell you to arrange the drinks tonight? Yes, but... but... Aha! She's been in on it the whole time, man. She wanted to earn your trust just so that Eddie would let her leave. That can't be true, because you wouldn't do no, that. No, Jack, he said he'd take my money, but I... Hello? Can somebody please help us? You serious? Mick! Jack! Anyone? me over there to get me out the store so you could ruin us. Jack. No. You've admitted it. You already said that Eddie put you up to this. I didn't know he was going to do this. Get out. Jack, please don't. Go on your stupid trip. See the world. Please. Don't come back. Go! Get out! What are you doing? What does that look like I'm doing? I gotta pay up by tomorrow or I'm finished. You don't need to do this, all right? Okay, there's loads of things we can do and I'm gonna help. That's what you said when you showed up in the first place. Where has it gotten me, man? No, no, where has it gotten me? Nowhere. You. You, this is your fault. What, me? You, it's your fault. It's not my fault. It's all your fault. It's not my fault! It's your fault! I was fine! I was just fine! Anyone untie me? Jack or Mick? No! No, Mick. Heidi's the only one who can save us now. You don't have to. Please, just wait. I want you out of here by the time I get back. You'll never see me again. Good. Hey, Jack. Just leave me alone for a minute. Mary Jane wants to tell you that... Start with that. Right. Just trying to be a good friend. You're not my friend. Mick's not my dad and you're not my friend. And MJ, it's just your fucking hand. Sorry. No, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, man, no, I didn't mean that. Look, I'm just upset, all right? I didn't... It's fine. You're right, look. <sighs> Goodbye, Jack. It's, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I should probably untie you, Yes, please.
love you all. Suck my dick. Going somewhere. Roxy? It's good to see you, Mick. See you've taken to wearing women's clothing. I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> But you're dead. Oh, God, you're a ghost. Which means, oh, God, I'm dead. I jumped, man. I jumped and I drowned. Oh, Jesus. Now I'm a ghost, too, man. We're in purgatory. Jesus, we're in purgatory together, man. I can't feel anything. I can't feel anything. I'm so cold. Get a grip on yourself. I'm not dead. What is the matter with you? You're alive? Of course I'm alive, Mick. You bloody idiot. Now, where's that son of ours? It's time we acted like parents. But first, let's get fucked. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Damn, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this place is still a shithole then. But the step. <laughs> Whoa. Jack, what's the matter? The day the world was waiting for had arrived. It was the dawn of the cup. Everyone was eagerly waiting for the competition to begin. Everyone, apart from Jack. With his dreams and tatters, it seemed the only thing he could hope for was a miracle. All fish brought to the Jolly Green Giants. This competition will be starting to show. That's all the commotion. Nothing. What's going on? Jeez, There's my boy. Jack! Your mother, she's alive, man. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, it's debatable. Oh. So how's my boy doing? I was better before you arrived, to be honest, Mum. Come on, don't be like that. All that time you lied to me. And you expect me to just welcome you with open arms. Come on, Jack, you don't be crawling up my fanny like that. Oh, how is that an appropriate thing to say to your son? All you care about is how short your skirt is and what guy you're bunking up with next. It's disgusting. Oh, I'm Roxy, the sexy star of the slut puppets who suck, by the way. Oi, no, that is totally out of order. No, oh, it's all right, sis. It's right. It's shit. Good shit, though. I know what I've done is wrong, but I deserve a second chance. I shouldn't have kept Mick from you. You missed out on having a father. Or whatever that is, I'm sorry about that. When you left it, you gave me the kick in the clit I needed, you know? And I know I can't make up for shit in the past, but I want to at least give you a chance at a good future. Got me going now. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Me too, son. I ruined everything for you, Dad. Oh, man. I was a loser when you found me, Jack. Yeah. Oh, look at this place, Roxy. Remember it, Nikki? Pixie. Yeah. You came in, tits hanging out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good to go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, you have to be kidding me. I 
just rebuilt. I'm, I'm sorry, I am. Uh, I just felt. What's wrong with you people? I didn't mean to. I just, I lost a piece of paper and I had the drawing of a, of a, of a map on it, and I lost it. I, I lost everything. <laughs> This is it. If mine, mine has a, a drawing of a of a map. Shh. Shh. Trust me. That will take you where you need to go. But this is blank. your help. Look. Oh! <laughs> Space Pit Ice. Oh, the oh, the ultimate high. <gasps> Miss it here. Not if we can save it. Sir? You've got some nerve showing up here again, Desiree. We have to enter the cup. Shouldn't you be with your uncle across the road? Nope. I'm smoking on the right side of the street. This fair maiden found the missing page from our notebook. Mick, I need all the green stock you have. There's none left. It's ruined. It's not ruined. It's wet, and that's exactly how we want it. Kinky little minx knows our lyrics. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the arena the team for this year's Amsterdam Cup! The Cinderella's! Last year's runner-up, the old girl troop of power has landed in the tower! to launch, Captain. The process takes longer than we have, but the more people that help, the faster we can... I'll help. You guys need laws on your team. But we still have a problem. We don't have the entrance fee money. That's not true. Desiree, you can't. That's your escape money. If it wasn't for my uncle, I wouldn't need it. And nothing would make me happier than the look on his face when you win. I'm so sorry for all that stuff I said to you earlier. You couldn't have known that your uncle... Hush, hush, Mickey. Let's take that fucker down. Hey guys, guys, stay in. <laughs> hey guys, uh, octopus. <laughs> we have a surprise late entry. Please welcome into the arena California Dreaming. <laughs> Thank you.
to the only place in the world where the grass is always greener, Amsterdam! <laughs> several rounds of competition with points awarded to the winning team in each category. First up, creative joint rolling. Lars, you're up. Um, no. What? Why? Only friends help each other and he made it quite clear that I haven't got any of those. I'm really sorry. I was upset, and the fact is, when I arrived, no one was as nice to me as you were. I mean, you're not just my friend. You're my best friend. And I love MJ. Fuck off with the fairy tale bullshit, you lot. Jesus Christ, I tell you what, you get your ass up there. Me, you, that weird finger of yours. A bit of hide and seek later. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go on, Lars, we fucking love you! Let's get screwed. On your Howard marks. Get set! Roll! <laughs> at this much ice? The goal is to completely separate the THC from the weed. We are not making a regular high. We are making the ultimate high. Isolator. In hell, bitches. What the fuck is he making, man? It's all right. Trust him. He's got this. Very nice. Very nice. Let's get more. Yeah. This round just gets crazier every year. Look what's being created using just marijuana and rolling papers. OK, contestants. Stop rolling. Settle down. Settle down. Oh, they look amazing. Really stunning. But it's not about origami. I wonder how well they smoke. Ready. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Don't we need something to strain the THC? Oh. You are right. Michael must have a fishing net or something. Are you sure these will work? They're perfect. We are good to go. Maybe not. The Gup's first ever official volcano spliff. Kaboom! Netherlands with that windmill. <laughs> this is just crazy. Jack said they would pull the plug on Mick soon. Looks like it is game over. Without electric to stir the weed and ice together, there will be no ice oh, later. Fuck it. Jolly Green Giant have won this fucking round. This was a bad idea. Ah, come on, baby. You never went down on me this quick. <laughs> okay. Round two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The longest joint. Ready for the two? Two, two, two.
the weight and the strain. But this was profanity personified. One person guessed the weight, the strain, and the soil in which it was grown. And the winner is California Dreaming! Yeah! The Jolly Green Giant! Okay, contestants. It's time I talk on your homegrown smoke. Come on! <laughs> all year for this. It's well worth the wait, Mr. Marks. <laughs> Smells like Christmas come early this year. <laughs> Our reigning champion, Eddie, sure looks happy with his entry this year. Let's see what the Gantt Godfather has to say. Jesus. This is fucking amazing. This has got to be a winner. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
entry, Mick? Uh... No. I'm sorry, boys, but uh, without any weed, I've got to disqualify you. And announce Jolly Green Giant. Wait. This is our entry. Sneaky little whore. This is California Dreaming's entry. Is that the... My God. It's... The isolator? Yes, Howard, the isolator. You little bitch. Get to your room. Seem to be forgetting I'm 21. You can't tell me what to do anymore. Well, she's a keeper, man. She really is. Uh, come on, roll it up. I've, I have to taste it. Come on, man. My lungs are waiting. Thank you. No pulse. What? Oh my God! since the 1970s, when I was in Nepal. And even that naughty Nepalese beauty didn't have the kick that this cheeky little fucker's got. <laughs> and the winner of the Amsterdam Cup is California Dreaming! <laughs> Everything that young Jack had wished for had become a reality. And although Jack was sure the story was nearing its end, he didn't realize... Cease, you intrepid brain beast! ...that his journey was only Shut just... Shut up! His journey was only just... Wait a minute. I heard that as well. You did? We all did. ...was only just... ...beginning. You're the guy that gave me the seed. You gave me the plants for the isolator. You're the voice inside my head. Gordon? Messiah. I think that's him. Gordon the Great? Is it really you? <laughs> I thought you were... Yeah, dead. No, I'm not dead. It's good to see you again, Mac. Or, or, or at least it's... It's good to hear you. Aye. I was blinded in the accident, but I've had plenty of time to work out how to get back at Eddie. And with Jack's help, the evil giant has finally fallen. <laughs> Is that my lighter? I think it belongs to someone else now. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, that was a touch of genius, flushing that seed down the toilet. Turns out, pish was the ingredient yes. that I didn't think of to add to the germination process. Oh, it certainly made the plant grow big, eh? <laughs> You're my hero. I love you. And there is plenty more magic where that came from. <laughs> We're gonna make millions, eh? Gord, would you consider coming into business with me and Laws? 
I don't mind a third. How about a fourth? What? Roxy, would you consider taking a break from touring, darling? I suppose I could do with a beach holiday. Oi, 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 oi. Slut puppets? I've got a slutty puppet right here. Now, we're all going to have to work together to cultivate all these plants. Of course, but this time we have to do it right. We cannot risk wrecking the shop. Gordon, how many... Ready? He's got a habit of doing that. Uh-huh. Gordon. What did you do with all those seeds, man? You're gonna need a bigger shop. Are you sure these will work? <laughs> Are you sure? Shit. Are you sure these will work? <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> The long... Sorry, look, my fucking power. <laughs> Did you try and touch me on the tour bus? No, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Looks like Christmas came early this year. It fucking smells like it as well. And <laughs> hug. Get rid of her with anything that you say. Done. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Did he can shove what's ever in this box up his tiny ass. Dance, Lennox, dance. Oh. Nick, is someone done a little poo in your shop? Looks like I am surfing on poo, huh? Surfing on poo. Surfing. I'll see you later. <laughs>